Here he comes. At this point, because I'm a Centurion, I have no idea it's an A2. Now I know it's an A2. People have alerted me that it's an A2. He's coming in. We got our guys on the ground. Everyone's trying to shoot him. He's coming at pretty much full speed. Point blank, drops the bomb, and suicide runs. All right, if you didn't catch that, don't worry. It's going to play again. Here he comes again. Same clip. All right, so here's the thing. The A2 is not fun. This bombing shit is not fun. I don't care what people are saying on Twitter about all these stupid ass counters that they think work. When this can happen, there's no counter to it. All you got to do is fly in at full speed and because of how much health the A2 has, there's no way you're going to kill it. You have to be in front of it with a torpedo and hope to God your fucking torpedo hits. Not to mention that you have to make sure, look, Space is fucking huge. Space is fucking huge. Space is fucking huge. Planets are fucking huge. Excuse my language, but I want to be clear about this. They can come from any direction, and you only have maybe a couple, a handful of eclipses. What's the chance you're going to be looking the right direction and be in front of the A2 before it does this? It's just unreasonable to expect that you're going to stop an A2 that does this because you can't those people are dumb they are dumb because they don't know that this can happen even though I've been I, I said very clearly in my post look you can suicide bomb with the A2, and there's nothing you can do about it. And they just completely ignored that comment. If someone wants to ruin your day, this is what they gotta do. There, this, this is the I win button right now. There's nothing you can do to stop this. Unless you have like a fleet of 20 people, and they're all in eclipses, and God forbid somebody brings fighters and kills you all. This is gonna happen. You cannot stop this from happening. All right, you can fill the fucking server. Yeah, maybe that's the only way so there are no more slots for somebody to do this. But maybe, I think that's the only way. You just fill, you get 120 people in your party and you get into a server and then it'll never happen, right? You can just keep milking the, the and that's really fun too, right? <sighs> Look, CIG have not got to fix this problem. I have no desire, no desire at all to play Star Citizen right now for the Jumptown event because of this. Every single time I play, this is how the event ends. It doesn't matter that the person is suiciding because their objective is just to troll. They just want to troll. And here's the other thing, right? Not everybody... We, you can't just stick everybody in eclipses. It's not feasible. You, you need to have a balance of fighters. You need to have people on the ground. You need to have people, you know, cooking the, cooking the stuff and getting it out and into the transport ships. And those ships have to go out and sell stuff. You need a lot of people, and not everybody is going to be doing the Eclipse. And besides, I don't know what, like, it's like they've never been in combat before, but when you're in a hectic jump town, especially now that the servers have like 100 people in them, there's always a fight going on. And because of Star Citizen's terrible UI system, there's no way for you to immediately know that the new pip that just popped in out of the 20 other people who are there fighting in the sky and fighters is an A2. There's no way for you to know that. You have to be cycling through all the targets. And you can't expect people to do that when they're already engaged in a big fight, which is exactly what's been happening every time I play. There's always big fights, and that's great. And that's what I love about Jumptown. It gets the fights together. Everybody, you know, uh, comes to it, and, and, and we're having fights on the ground, fights in the air, and it's great. But then it's so easy for one of these fuckers to slip in and suicide bomb like this. It's just, 
in the mess, in in the fog of war, in the mess of it, you can't you can't be expected to pay attention for somebody to do this. And here's the thing about this, right? This is I I cannot imagine that this is intended gameplay by CIG. Suicide bombing, the act of suiciding, ramming your ship into the ground with the bomb is counter to a death of a spaceman. So it's not even really intentional gameplay by the way that they've designed the game. So I, I, I don't understand how people can sit there and have an argument. He didn't even have to suicide, that's perfectly right. If he had come in at the right angle, he he, he could have avoided hitting the ground. But look, like, look at how close he is to the ground there. You literally, even if you shot the bomb as it came out of the bottom, it would still kill everybody because they explode when you shoot them. It's stupid. So, look, CIG, if you're watching, I hope you are. Nerf this stupid ship. Get rid of size 10 bombs. If you're if, if there's no time to fix it. Because this is not fun. This is not fun gameplay. This is this is annoying and it ruins every single stream I do playing Jump Town. And I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. And I'm not the only person who is. It's not just that I'm streaming and this happens more frequently because of it. It happens when there's big groups of people who are trying to work together. And one guy's pissed off because he didn't get to Congo line and he has an A2. And he comes and does this. And ruins everybody's fun. I think one of the one of the big questions you got to have when you're when you're designing a game is is it fun? This is not fun. So opposing team oh, so you have time to ram that? You have time to set that in up. Oh, all right. With he's traveling at top speed with a nearly frictionless environment. You're telling me you're gonna have time to respond. All right, you try that, Mac-10. Tell me how it works out, record it. Show me that you have time for somebody doing this to ram them. That's a BS answer, man. In your mind, yes. In a perfect world, yes. If you knew that he was coming and you were set up to ram him in the correct direction and you were able to hit him with desync, fine. Yeah, sure, maybe. But that is not a realistic counter to this. There is no counter to this. I don't, oh look, no, listen independent. My point is it's not fun. When one person can come into a battle and ruin the fun for everybody else, it's bullshit and they gotta get rid of it. It's not fun gameplay, period, end of sentence, end of argument. Tell me what about this was fun. We, had t we took an hour, a fucking hour of our night to set this up, all right? To get everything out there, all right? To, co to get everybody together and get our stuff there. And one guy who's angry and wants to troll on the screen, screen, uh, stream rams us and it just kills all of that setup that's not just not fun it's infuriating it's infuriating i am mad extremely mad this is stupid oh. i'm not i'm not even really mad at cig 
for not knowing that people were going to do this. I mean, there are only so many QA testers. There are only so many people that can do it. And, and the SFX guys did a great job on the explosions. Like, they look amazing. They sound amazing. It's super cool that we have them. But now that we know this is a thing and it's been going on for this long, I'm really, I'm really upset they've not done something to fix this. Oh man, I've been so busy. Are we good? We ready? Okay. Hey everyone, it's Chris Roberts from the 90s. I hope you guys are doing good. I just wanted to say Greasy Khaleesi is killing it. This young man is doing a fantastic job. I am so proud of him. Make sure you like and subscribe. Unless you're a neckbeard. <laughs>